Hey guys, welcome to 42 Owego Street where we're uh, showing this house today. House number 42, we got two apartments here, one downstairs, this first house right here, and then one upstairs, the one on the left over here. Um, as you can see, it's a little rainy today, so that's why we got an umbrella over top of you, but uh, we hope you, we can show you this house. Hope that you might like it, and uh, yeah, come inside along for the ride. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, welcome. We're in the living room here. Uh, let's show you a little bit around what we're doing here. Got a big open living room space here, big open space in the middle here. You got nice two couches that match each other. You got three seats on this side and you got two over here. You also got the nice love seat over here where you can view the television, which is over on this side. Really spacious through here. You can obviously see there's a lot of art on the walls. You got one, two, three windows plus the window by the door. So there's lots of natural light that will come in. Uh, you got plenty of space in the corner over here for things like your mini fridge and your other television. Plus you got your big flat screen here. 26 inch flat screen TV that comes with the deck on the bottom that you can put all your different movies, your books. Alright guys, we're here in the kitchen now. Um, the kitchen includes a big old fridge for all your food needs. We got one, two, three, four, five shelves, three in the freezer. Um, we have an oven and microwave included. The oven includes four burners, all different, all different settings. Um, tons of counter space for all your needs. For the coffee pot, your water jug, bananas, your fruits. Poster oven. Of course, we have the two bedrooms here. We have the window on the back wall. Also included is a nice family table with uh, six chairs. All right, here we are in bedroom number two near the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, you got quite a bit of space here. You got your bed over on the side here, which fits nicely right in the corner. Lots of wall space, like we said before, to put all kinds of art. Uh, each room comes with a desk and a dresser with one, two, three, four, five uh, drawers in this one. Sorry, I'm gonna do that again. One, two, three, four, five drawers in this one. You also got quite a bit of closet space to put all your clothes or anything you can need here. Each room uh, is pretty spacious. It looks kind of small in here, but you usually can fit all of your things in here, and it's very comfortable and cozy for one person to live. And again, more windows for lots of natural light to come in. All right, guys, welcome to the vestibule area, the area in between these two bedrooms over here and this bathroom area. Just basically a little transition area from the living room to these other bedrooms. As you can see, there's a lot of wall space where you can put, obviously, lots and lots of art. Uh, you got a nice light up here, and you obviously have your smoke detector, safety first. Um, yeah, this is just a good transition area between the two different bedrooms and the bathroom. Easy access for these two people right here to get to the bedroom, and vice versa. All right, guys, welcome to the bathroom, uh, right next to the vestibule area where the two bedrooms are. Uh, as you can see, it's a little tight in here, but you got all the essential things that you need. You got your toilet right here with a nice sink and a big wide open uh, mirror right here where you can keep all your things. A nice size walk-in bathroom here, walk-in shower where you can shower and have all kinds of space for all the things that you need. Over here on the right, you got a couple, uh, uh, what's shelves? Called? Yeah, shelves, excuse me, sorry. You got a couple different shelves where you can put all your stuff. Say up to five people can live in this house, so there's plenty of space for everybody to put all of their things, their shower utilities, all their toiletries. So yeah, you got the bathroom here, great space where everyone can uh, come and do everything that they need. All right, this is one of the bedrooms. Uh, this is in the vestibule area. As you can see, it's a big wide open space with a window right here, opening the front room. Um, we have obviously a bed, coming with a mini fridge, a big old TV. Obviously, you have your dresser and your desk, complementary with each room. This desk has, uh, this dresser, sorry, has eight drawers and this desk has five drawers. Obviously you have tons of wall space for all your posters, flags, whatever whatever may be, Kim Possible, uh, blankets, whatever you want. We have a decent sized closet here, right, right behind the door. Yeah, everything you possibly want. Alright guys, we're on the front porch now. Uh, as you can see, it's very spacious, very wide. You have all your room for your grilling, your bicycles, suds for the winter time. You can put your chairs, hang out on the porch sometimes. Oh, uh, we have this corridor down here. You have the two mailboxes and your front door. Obviously, you have your windows along here. Stairs down here. Nice bushes up front. A nice little yard to play with. Now, uh, we're here with someone who lives here, actually. We're going to get his, uh, get his view. Ben? Yes, hi. This is our friend, David Guedes. Uh, and he currently lives at this residence. So, uh, uh, David, can you talk about this house a little bit and what you like about it? Yeah, it's a great house. It's very spacious, you know. It's uh, a quick walk to campus. We have laundry right there. We also have a cash and carry, so it's easy to get food. And honestly, it's just a great house to live in. All right, guys, you've seen the house now. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope maybe you want to move in someday. Huh?